This time of use video lesson is brought to you by Energy Upgrade California and the Alliance to Save Energy. In this video, we are going to learn about how using energy affects the environment and why when we use energy is just as important as how much energy we use. We tend to take it for granted, but energy plays a vital part in our daily lives. But extracting and burning fossil fuels has an enormous impact on our environment, including land, water, and animal populations. Perhaps the most profound impact comes in a form we can't see, but we can certainly feel. Since the mid-20th century, climate scientists have tracked global warming trends and attributed them largely to human activity on the planet, specifically the burning of fossil fuels. Our use of fossil fuels has increased the levels of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere from about 275 parts per million in the pre-industrial era to well over 400 parts per million today. This has caused a dramatic rise in global temperatures. Warming temperatures are also melting our glaciers and polar ice, driving up sea levels and destroying coastal communities and habitats. And extreme weather is fueling more natural disasters, which have severe consequences for both people and animals. There aren't any winners with global warming, and it is not a problem that is going away. So how do we continue to enjoy all the benefits of abundant energy while preserving the natural world that supports us? The answers are all around us. It's in the winds that blow from the coast and across the desert, the water in our rivers and streams, and in the sun that has naturally energized our planet every morning since the beginning of time. These energy sources will never run out, and they provide thousands of times more energy than we would need for every human on Earth. The tricky part is capturing it. We can extract fossil fuels and store them for use at a later time. The difficult thing about renewable energy is that it's hard to store. We may want to hold onto solar energy, but it's not that easy. So for right now, we have to use renewable energy like solar and wind when it's available or we lose it. That said, scientists are getting better at storing renewable energy. Batteries, thermal storage, and other technologies are advancing very quickly but they have a long way to go before we can store all the renewable energy we're able to capture. But we can't wait. We need bold, visionary leaders to pave the way to a brighter tomorrow. Which brings us to California. In California, where the Priuses travel in herds and long sun-drenched days give way to steady coastal breezes, we get most of our energy from... <laughs> fossil fuels? Sad, but true. Most of the energy we use every day to light our schools, power our cars, and run our homes comes from carbon-intensive sources. Fortunately, California leads the nation in divesting from carbon-intensive fuels, aiming to become a zero-carbon emission state by 2045. Our state leads the nation in electricity generation from non-hydro-renewable energy sources, including geothermal, wind, and solar power, which is a great thing. However, for us to achieve our long-term goals, we must continue to produce more electricity from renewable resources. But until we can store all the renewable energy Mother Nature throws our way, it can sometimes be too much of a good thing. Which brings us to time of use. When the sun is shining and the wind is blowing, we have more clean energy than we can use. When wind and solar generation are at its highest points, we're not actually utilizing as much of the energy as we could be. Solar generation peaks during the day when most people are at work or away from home and wind generation peaks at night after most people have gone to bed and are no longer using much electricity. However, the demand for energy peaks in the late afternoon and evening, from about 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. During these times, known as peak hours, Californians use more electricity than at any other time of the day, and it is more likely to be produced by carbon-intensive energy sources which emit greenhouse gases. Early in the morning, as the sun is rising, most of the energy we use in California comes from renewable sources. After 9 p.m., as people start to wind down and reduce their energy use, most of our energy comes from wind. However, between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m., when demand peaks, there is not enough renewable resources to support all of our energy use. When we come home from school and work, cook dinner, do the dishes, do our homework, and watch TV, that's when we use energy sources that are less clean and more harmful to our environment. Shifting our practices and behaviors to better manage electricity in our homes and places of business during peak hours is an important step in utilizing as much clean energy as possible. Someday, we'll have clean energy available to us 24-7. But until then, that means shifting our energy use from on-peak to off-peak hours. We can't change when the sun shines, but we can change when we do laundry when we run the dishwasher, when we charge our smartphones and devices, when we heat or cool our homes, how long we leave the lights on. 
Little things like this add up to huge differences that can help California keep it golden. Try loading the dishwasher after dinner and wait to run it until right before bed. That way you can wake up in the morning with clean dishes. Or your family can load it at night and wait until the morning to run it when you leave for work and school. Wait to recharge devices like your cell phones, computers, and other devices until after 9 p.m. or when you go to bed when energy is both cheaper and cleaner. Cook meals in a slow cooker during the day to use cleaner energy and come home to a pre-prepared dinner that is ready to eat. Try using cold water for your laundry and wash and dry those clothes during off-peak hours. Program your HVAC to preheat or pre-cool your house during off-peak hours. You will use cleaner energy if you cool your home from noon to 2 p.m. than you would if you run it from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Turn off any non-essential lighting and unplug any unused appliances. Turn off indoor and outdoor lights when you are not using them and wait to charge devices until later in the evening. Finally, set some timers on your phones and watches. Make sure the whole family knows when on-peak and off-peak hours are, and that everyone is being smarter about the time when they use energy. If we all make a few little good choices, we can turn this thing around. California will soon be switching to time-of-use rates that encourage all of us to shift our behaviors by making energy cheaper when renewables are plentiful and more expensive between 4 and 9 p.m. when our energy is more carbon-intensive. By doing so, you and your families will be empowered to use energy when it is less expensive and help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. All Californians will be automatically enrolled in a time of use plan. However, you and your family will be free to opt out to use other rate plans. If you have questions about when time of use goes into effect in your region or whether they're the best rate plan for your family, feel free to call your utility company and ask. People may be already used to doing things one way. They may be too busy to pay attention to the changes going on, but changing our behavior is still a lot easier than changing the suns. You have the tools to change people's minds. You just have to use your talents, your intelligence, your creativity, your power of persuasion, your tenacity, your sense of humor. We're in this together, and together we can do this.